Good afternoon, baseball fans, and welcome to a special edition of State of MLB. Today, we'll be taking a look at one of the last notorious free agents from last year who finally got signed. Kimball and Keuchel were in headlines all season long for being free agents who were still on the open market. But there's a big reason why they were on the open market. These two free agents were given, Kimberl and Keiko were given qualifying offers by their former clubs and due to a combination of salary demand and the free agent tags associated with them, they both ended up not getting signed during the offseason and starting the season still waiting for teams to play for. In this case, we will be talking about the da Dallas Keiko with whom, in my opinion, is one of the better pitchers in the league. And a lot of analysts are surprised that he was off, didn't have a team for so long. He just got signed, I believe on Thursday, with the Atlanta Braves. A couple days after uh, Kimbrell and a few days after the free agent draft picks uh, for minor leaguers. So I wanted to go into why it took him so long to get signed and what he brings to the Atlanta Braves and some of the dollar values you go associated with this. Dallas Keuchel spent seven seasons with the Houston Astros. Yes, the Houston Astros, which are this year a powerhouse team. This year they're playing without him and they're still doing well. Having said that, he is a 2015 Cy Young Award winner the same year that he outright dominated New York Yankees in the AL wild card. He's also a 2015 and 2017 All-Star. He has a career 3.66 ERA, which if you're under four, that is good. Gone are the days where you have pitchers go an entire career under 2.0. That's just unheard of in this day and age. But having under four is definitely high market value. Which goes to the question, okay, he's gotten over 945 strikeouts in seven years. That's averaging over 100 a year. This guy, while being a finesse pitcher, putting the ball where he wants, it to, wants to put it to get the, the ground out or the pop out that he wants, also is phenomenally good at setting up hitters to strike them out. So, why did he uh, get left unsigned for so long? Well, Houston gave him a $17 million qualifying offer for a one-year play. Keiko originally, when he went into the offseason, wanted a multi-million dollar ace-type contract. You're talking like a six-year, seven-year contract worth $20 million plus a year. And unfortunately, with that, the Atlanta Houston Astros said, okay, we can give him a qualifying offer and keep him for 17 and then we can continue to negotiate on a year-to-year -year basis, try and... Uh, keep our ace while keeping the price tag moderate to their standard and they fully realized that by declining that offer that they were prepared with their de depth and rotation to let him walk and walk he did but with that draft pick associated with the qualifying offer no matter how good he was there were other pitchers i.e. Patrick Corbin and many others that didn't have that free agent tag to that which made all those pitchers have to wait, and not just pitchers, but players have to wait till after the drafts for that to be removed so they can get scooped up. Because people, the major leagues are paying far more adherence to draft picks than they ever have before. This is unprecedented in Major League Baseball. You don't see elite players go unsigned just because they have a draft pick associated with them. This year you did, and last year you saw a lot of players wait until very, very late in the offseason to get signed because of salary demands and what teams were willing to do. There are a lot of upcoming upcoming players who have, with varying degrees of talent. So a lot of teams were like thinking, okay, you can get bottom dollar talent that are up and rising stars. Um, we'll try our, our bets at that. So having said that, in the during the off during the, uh, following the free agent p draft picks, I keep saying free agent during the draft picks of the this past week, you had several players 
in there. The Chicago Cubs, the St. Louis Cardinals, the Philadelphia Phillies, the Atlanta Braves, and the New York Yankees. Of the five, the two known offers were $12 million for the New York Yankees and $13 million by the Atlanta Braves. For such a small margin, that comes down to, do you want to play with your former battery mate, Brian McCann, or do you want to go to pinstripes? Great, it's only for a year. So Keiko having the choice of getting an extra million dollars and playing with one of his former colleagues, decided to go to the Atlanta Braves. And in doing so, he solidifies a rotation that is already raising eyebrows. You're talking about Mike F., Sean Newcomb, uh, Julio T., Mike S. I don't want to butcher their last names, and the phonetics on some of these are escape me. So to avoid making mistakes with any of them, I'm just using initials across the board. Now, they also got Kevin Gaston from the Baltimore Orioles, and just being a veteran presence is great, but I've never thought that much of Gaston in, in the first place, and when they signed him, I'm like, okay, is he like a number five pitch or something like that, just eat up innings? Who knows? But you've got four rotation, four rookies in your rotation who are doing very, very well. Take a look at my power rankings. Atlanta has been in the top ten more than once. They have a very strong up-and-coming class. The Atlanta Braves, if you've met, uh, heard me mention in the past uh, a number of power rankings, are a team that, like New York and like San Diego, are rated with one of the deepest minor league systems in the game. However, New York and Atlanta are no longer top-tier farm systems. Why? Because you've got all this talent coming up from the, from the minor leagues and are now contributing to the major league club. And that's really what you want. You want to have a great, strong core nucleus of great new talent able to actually play at the major league levels to contribute to your teams. So now you've got a team, a, a team in the Atlanta Braves that are duking it out with the Philadelphia Phillies for a division. And what do they go ahead and do? Recognizing they need some veteran presence, they need to help some help with some of their struggling players. They go ahead and they get Dallas Keuchel to make a run out this year to say, okay, this is the year we are in contention. We we've gone through those rebuilding years. We've gotten these players up to the majors. Let's go ahead and bring in a veteran presence who has been historically a state uh, rotation ace quality stuff. And let's go ahead and make a run at the AL East. Let's see what we can do this year. Let's make this something of a memorable year. Maybe we can go back to the 1990s when they used to dominate the AL East. We'll see what happens. But so far, Keiko is going to make a phenomenal presence on this team. He's going to help them elevate their game. And he's going to be quite the menace for the Philadelphia Phillies and the rest of the division. Not so much worried about the Miami Marlins, but... Uh, and the floundering Washington Nationals, but he's definitely going to give the Phillies a headache. Having said that, that's good for the Atlanta Braves, who now have got him secured for the rest of this year. Comes comes a free agent, goes back to the open market, trying to get top dollar again. This is a guy with whom, during the off season, I was telling the Yankees to go ahead and sign a a, a, a team that had like like many teams needed rotation help, and as a result. He now gets to help the, uh, the Atlanta Braves, and I think he'll make a strong contribution. I want to know what you think about what I think. So please, like and subscribe. Put your, your comments in, this, in the section below. And I'm looking forward to following both Houston as they continue throughout the season without Keuchel and the Atlanta Braves to see how they do now with Keuchel in their rotation. If you just happen to be browsing through the web or browsing through YouTube and happen upon this video, Please feel free to hit like, the, like and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the games.